Oh my god. Yeah. Here we go. This is so magical. You like it, no? <laughs> Good evening guys, <laughs> I have done something really crazy, I've been driving for the last 4 hours to get to here, I'm in Pamukkale right now, uh, actually super excited about tomorrow because I just came like quite late, it's 10pm uh, here and Pamukkale entrance is already closed and it's already dark as you can see. Uh, so I'm waiting for tomorrow morning. Uh, they told me there are one door opening at 8 a.m. and another one opening at 6.30. So uh, I will be sleeping in my car actually. So um, I didn't want to spend uh, money for hostel or hotel or whatever around here just for a few hours. So I will be sleeping in the car and waking up at 6 and being uh, in the entrance door at 6.30 to make sure there is no people or there's less people so really excited because Pamukkale have been on my list to do list uh, in, for Turkey and this is my last uh, few days in Turkey and I wanted to make sure this is done so uh, as a last point I was in Kushadasu and I drove from there like four hours it's 200 kilometers and I need to drive back tomorrow after I visit this wonderful place so good night for now and i will see you in the morning see you guys Hey, good morning guys, right now it's 5.15 and I'm getting ready to go to visit Pamukkale, they will be opening 6.30, I decided to wake up early, get ready, change my clothes, wash my teeth, have a breakfast and 6.30 I will be in the door to get in and explore around. For the breakfast, I have my croissant and water. I need some energy because we're gonna spend like two, three hours there. I just arrived to here. Uh, it's quite early, it's uh, 5.30 still, so I have one hour to go and uh, this is the different gate, I was sleeping in a different gate which was like uh, south part and this is the north part and this gate is opening at 6.30 so in case you are coming here make sure that you are early, I think it will pay off because there will be less people and uh, you can enjoy it really and there's this beautiful view to the city uh, I think, I'm not sure exactly how the city called but I think it's Denizli and sun is rising behind me it's gonna be incredible as well so I will be spending this 40-45 minutes to chill around here and wait for the gates to open only security met me and I tried I asked if it's, if it's even possible to get in earlier he said no way <laughs> so we have to wait one hour so the sun is already up and I'm still waiting uh, time doesn't go to to be honest uh, but I have only 25 minutes to go and then we should be in to explore around and I wanted to share some information with you guys uh, based on the conversation I had with the security guy uh, so this is uh, obviously unusual um, situation because 
if it's not a pandemic, uh, if it's a normal times, usually the buses and tourists are arriving actually in this time, 6.30, to explore before everybody else. So, but as you can see right now, <laughs> there's only one car, uh, which is mine. Not mine, but it's a rental car, obviously. Um, so, <clears throat> in normal times, actually this time is quite famous, like 6.30, the big buses are arriving with tourists. I am hoping this is not going to happen today and uh, due to the pandemic you know there's not many people visiting turkey at the moment so this is the reason it's quiet at the moment so 20 minutes to go to explore <laughs> I feel like a baby and so happy. I'm the first. There is nobody after me or before me. And there is this beautiful balloon. Look at this. I just learned they are actually doing the training. So it's not, um, it's not like for tourism or whatever. And I was quite sad and also happy at the same time to see the balloon because I was in the land of balloons in Cappadocia and there was no balloons at all and I come here and there is this cute thing there amazing it's basically my first time I see balloon beautiful view right but somehow there is no water here. Maybe it's downstairs, I'm not sure. But we'll be checking out. Only thing I see is the doggies there. There are like two dogs, maybe more. Yeah. But the view is really crazy. I hope the balloons goes up and there is even better view. Okay, I think there is a way to follow, to go to downstairs. Oh, there are more doggies, like four of them even. What a nice place to hang out for them. This water comes from somewhere, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe it's kind of like filling out the pools. Oh my god, yeah, here we go, here we go. This is so magical, it's crazy. I just love this view, it's crazy. And this place looks like slippery. But in reality, it's not actually. It's quite nice and safe. They said uh, small pools uh, might be slippery, but the big ones, I think there's a sand on the on the bottom, so they are not slippery. So yeah, this water fills out all the pools here. Truly incredible view. I think I really picked up, picked the best time to come here. The sun is just waking up. There's this uh, balloon training. There's nobody like 
literally nobody, only security and me. My God. I think last time I was happy, I was in paragliding. <laughs> I mean, this much happiness. It's magical. So I think well, what doesn't make this pool slippery is the kind of sand there you can see and that's what it keeps and you can actually mix it <laughs> it's crazy like I don't know I, I really don't know how to describe this in, in, in words really it's just really incredible experience if you get a chance you have to be here and you have to be here uh, very early morning for this emptiness and beautiful place you know yeah and uh, these places as well like not only pools but i had to come from kind of like hill and the hill is also not slippery of course this uh how to say waves it makes it um, comfortable to walk at but uh, even even the I, I will show you even the like uh, straight uh, grounds it's not slippery at all for example this water is running from here I don't know probably during the whole day but you can you can very easily walk on them, so it's quite safe. Only, only surprising, and I have a question. I, maybe I will check with the security. There is this pools also, like here. You can see these pools. There are no water. I'm not sure if this is like they can fill it out. Or it doesn't really work like that. I'm I'm not sure. So I will check with the security. What's the what's the plan? Because all these pools here, uh, I can see one, two, three, four, five, and two more up. So like seven of them, and they are full. And this doggy is here with me as well. He's like swimming around walking with me and he has lots of friends lots of dog friends around here <laughs> it seems like he's enjoying himself hey doggy what's your name it's interview time <laughs> doggy you enjoy it what a lovely place you have as home. Hello. You like it, no? <laughs> and he drinks the water. I'm not sure if it's drinkable. Probably it is. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I just tried to be off the camera and just enjoy myself here. Um, I don't know, I have no words. It's just an incredible place. And I'm also um, taking some pictures for Instagram as well. I have this tripod here obviously I'm alone there are no people around so I think I really did a good job by taking this with me and the balloon uh, still struggling around and how to say it's 
quite low but hopefully it will get high and I can get some nice pictures and nice um, video okay it's getting up slowly meanwhile you can enjoy this view I had a conversation with with the security guy and it's actually quite hot the water like where it comes from in the beginning it's quite hot anyway so I had a conversation with the security guy and he explained me a few things so the source of the water is not far it's 150 meters uh, from here uh, and it's opening at 8 a.m. I'm not sure if I will be able to see it maybe i will be still around and another thing um <clears throat> that i was questioning why for example these pools are empty uh, for the moment and these pools are like fully uh how to say it? They, they made it full uh, the answer he gave me is that it's actually managed by the people so they're directing the water where it needs to be and they cannot uh, have water in these pools too long or they shouldn't have water here too short uh, because they need to give enough amount of time with the water so these pools can re renew themselves um, so this is the answer basically um, because we see these pools full it's because by choice and these pools are empty uh, it's again by choice and uh, they have specific days when they need to fill it up. So in case you come here and you see these pools are empty and other pools are full, um, you know the answer. This should be the source of the water. This pool is so crazy. You have to see it. really nice there's like ancient parts of the city like big rocks and I don't know pieces from one of these ancient parts of the city probably it's so nice and you, you, you can actually swim here I checked the price it's a uh, hundred liras and I'm not sure if it's even fair price 100 lira is like 13 euros and I actually paid to get here uh, I mean the entrance fee was like 10 euros 80 liras so you have to pay even more than what you paid for entrance to swim in this pool not sure if it's worth it There's this beautiful map behind me which explains a lot about this place. Uh, so Pamukkale is not only about the pools we have seen in my uh, video, but behind that pools and this incredible place there have been huge city. Um, this map basically describes the whole thing. For example here, this is the, the, the pools we have seen. And that's what it's famous for but you can see also the behind there's like a whole city um, this number seven is been like Agora and you can see two uh, theaters number three and also there's another one here number 12 
uh, the security guy in the Pamukkale told me there's also another similar place to Pamukkale. Uh, it's actually four kilometers away in this small town here, and the water called um, it's called like red water. That's how it's literally translated to. So I was curious about it, and I decided to come here and see what is it and how it looks like and you can also decide if it's worth it to try it and come here So there was nothing red about the, the place and the water. So I asked uh, some people there, why is it called like a red water? They said it's just um, beneficial for health problems and the stuff. That's why it's called red water. So 